Thank you very much, Speaker Saab. Sir, I'd like to concentrate on a few particular issues of the economy, of inflation, of some matters which many honorable members have raised, other than speaking about the economy in general as well. Sir, aaj pure dunya mein aarthik vishyo mein bhout saare sankat ke samay hai. The global economy is struggling with twin challenges of high inflation and also slow growth. I am going to talk about the first thing in the world. I am going to I am talking only about the first thing in I will come to talking about domestic also. Global economy, sir, in 2022, only 3% growth has been It just grew over about 3% or little more. And the World Bank is now forecasting that 2023 it will decline to 2.1%. Global growth will decline to 2.1%. And in this, I just want to take the example of some developed countries whose situation it is important for us to understand. UK is facing one of the very challenging times. And Bank of England has raised interest rates 14 consecutive times, hiked it, and today it is at the highest level of 15 years. Eurozone is also struggling. The European Central Bank has also seen very high inflation. The ECB, the European Central Bank, has raised interest rates nine consecutive times, and they're all hikes. And Today, it is at a 23-year high. If that is the case with European Central Bank, in Germany too, which is the largest economy in Europe, there too the challenges are very, very big. And the IMF expects the German economy to contract at a projected 0.3% in 2023. Itna niche tak Germany ke economy bhi giravat me aari. Sir, China, yes, it's a very big economy. Dunya me, US, China, yes, a bada economy, sir. Me see the unse hamari economy ko tulna naikari. Magar challenges jo hai dunya barke, or us challenges ke baje se itna mazboot jo mana jatata, mazboot economy China jay se. Aaj ek dam consumer demand stagnation ke situation mein hai aur wages stagnation mein hai. Aaj Bharat ke media bhi ye likh raha hai ki shayad China ek dam deflation mein chali ja rahi hai. So China ka situation, Eurozone ka situation, UK ka situation aur aap sab media mein do din pehle dekhe honge. कि यूएस का डाउनग्रेड हुआ और उसके कारण उनके स्टॉक मार्केट में उतल-पुतल होने लगा इसीलिए मैं इन सब परिपेक्ष में ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर आपसे विज्ञप्ति करती हूं कि भारत के इकोनॉमी को एक बार हम इस नजरिया से देखते हुए भारत के इकोनॉमी का हालात को समझना चाहिए 2013 में जो मॉर्गन स्टैंडली ने दुनिया में पांच सबसे नाजुक इकोनॉमी के लिस्ट करते हुए भारत का भी उसमें जोड़ा 2013 वाज इंडिया वाज डिक्लेयर्ड एस अ फ्रैजाइल इकोनॉमी उसी मॉर्गन स्टैंडली आज भारत को अपग्रेड करते हैं भारत को हाईर रेटिंग देते हैं और सिर्फ नौ साल में इतना एकदम खराब और फ्रैजाइल परिस्थिति में जो इकोनॉमी गिरावट हमारी हुई उससे निकलते हुए हमारे सरकार की पॉलिसी के वजह से आर्थिक सुधार हुआ कोविड के बावजूद भी सुधार हुआ और आज हम 
देश सबसे फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग इकोनॉमी है